Hey guys, it's Tim Barrico. Welcome to my channel, Kitchen and Craft. Today, I'm gonna make some killer, crispy grilled chicken wings. I'm gonna season them with some fresh rosemary, a little bit of garlic, and some Aleppo pepper, just for some gentle, smooth heat. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. If this sounds good to you, hit that like and subscribe button and keep watching. All right, the first thing on the docket today is to make a dry rub for our chicken wings. Grab a small bowl along with some salt. I'm using sea salt here, and my go-to measurement is about one and a half percent by weight of the meat that I'm seasoning. So I'm using a pound of chicken wings today. This is about seven grams of sea salt. Go into the bowl. Next, we're gonna add some garlic powder, about a half teaspoon. Now, I'm not using fresh garlic here because I don't wanna add additional moisture to the chicken skin, all right? And I'll get into a little bit more about why we don't do that later on. Now we're gonna add a little bit of heat. This is uh, some dried crushed Aleppo pepper. Kind of looks like this. Adds a nice, smooth, gentle heat. Nothing too strong here, but if you don't have Aleppo pepper, you can't find it, go ahead and just add some crushed red chili. I'm gonna go in with about a quarter teaspoon or a big fat pinch. All right, now we're gonna go in with some baking powder. Now baking powder changes the pH of the surface of the chicken wing. It's gonna allow it to brown a little bit more. It's also gonna pull some of the moisture out from the skin along with that salt. It'll make it nice and crispy. And just a heads up, for a list of the ingredients and measurements, check out the description box below the video. It has everything you need. The last thing that we have to add to this dry rub is some fresh rosemary. You can see that I have uh, these leaves still attached to the stem. So I'm just gonna pull down gently to remove all of them, just like this. I'm gonna run my knife through these rosemary leaves and chop it up really fine. That way it'll coat all of the chicken wings evenly. We're not gonna have any big bits floating around in our dry rub. All right. All right, that looks pretty good. This is about a fat tablespoon's worth. I'm gonna go right into the bowl. Let's give everything a quick stir. Yeah, this looks fantastic. Nice. All right, on to the chicken wings. You can buy a bag of frozen wings that are already cleaned and portioned into drumettes and flats. That's great, but I prefer to go with fresh wings that look like this. See, everything is still connected though. You got your drumette, your wingette, and your wingtip, and we gotta separate all these guys. Let me show you how to do that, it's pretty easy. Start with a wing flipped over like this. Usually the, the thicker skin side is facing down. Remove the wingtip first. You're just gonna use your index finger to find the joint and then just run a knife right through it, okay? Don't throw these out. These tips make for great stock. So just put them in a bag and freeze them, make stock with them later, okay? Now I flip the wing around, do a 180 on it, find the second joint between the wingette and the drumette, all right, right there. And then I just run my knife carefully through it, just like that, okay? Now you have your drumette and your wingette, wingette separated. If there's any loose, floppy skin, I usually just trim that off too, and you're good. See how easy that was? Piece of cake. We have one more step before we actually fire up this grill and it requires very little effort, just some time and a little bit of patience, all right? So grab your wings and your dry rub. I'm gonna grab a bigger bowl here, just like that. We're gonna season our wings all over with this dry rub. Make sure they're coated evenly all over, just like this. Now, that looks pretty good, okay? So now I'm gonna grab this sheet pan over here. It's got a rack on it. And I'm gonna lay out my wings on the rack, just leaving some space in between each wing. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this rack in the fridge. We're gonna let these wings air chill and dry out for about eight hours minimum, preferably overnight, okay? Just like that. Okay. Now, what this, this process is gonna do is it's gonna dry out the surface of the wings, and that's gonna provide a crispier, more brown crust when we grill them, okay? That's why I didn't wanna add fresh garlic at the beginning. Didn't wanna add any additional moisture to the surface of the wings. We wanna remove as much moisture as possible. I suppose drying these wings off with some paper towels before we actually applied the dry rub would have helped, but I really don't see that it makes that much of a difference. The time that these wings spend in the refrigerator drying out would be perfect, okay? So let's do that. We'll fire up the grill and we'll cook these babies off. 
All right, guys, we're at the eight hour mark. These wings are looking fantastic. You can see that there's minimal moisture on the surface of each wing. The skins are gonna crisp up really, really, really nice. I've got my Green Mountain Pellet Grill preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if you have a charcoal or a gas grill, that's gonna be about medium to medium high heat. We're gonna grill the wings for a total of about 30 minutes. And we're gonna flip them halfway through the cooking process. And that's it, they'll be ready to go. It is that simple. All right, guys, these wings are done. They smell great and they look absolutely fantastic. Here, check it out. We have even browning all the way around. For a grilled wing, we got some crispy skin, crispy, delicious skin. I'm gonna have to dig in. Mm. <laughs> So, so good. Oh my God. Mm. I get all the flavors, the rosemary and the garlic, a little bit of that Aleppo pepper. Might even bump that up next time, just for a little bit more heat. Seasoned perfectly. Mm. Such a good wing and so easy to make. Gotta give this recipe a try, guys. Give it a try. Mm. All right, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, check out my, some of my other videos, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs> so good.